Hey, hey, it's Jeremy here, and in this short tutorial, I'm gonna quickly show you how to scale up your pattern swatches in Illustrator CC. First up, you can see on my artboard, I just have a basic block of color behind my patterns here. And this is pretty much the same pattern. The one on the right is just scaled up. So the one on the left is the default pattern size that I've created my pattern. And you can see it's like this little cube pattern, which is really looks really neat and geometric. So for example, if I show you, if I just create a box here and I go into my pattern panel, you can see if I click on my swatch, it's gonna create this. And you can see I've got all these other patterns as well. But if I click on that, that's the size. So if I want to scale it up to this size, the easiest and fastest way to do that is by clicking on the object where you've applied the pattern. Go to the top left corner and click on object. Go to the first menu which says transform and you should get a drop down menu and go to that to the middle section and it says scale. So you go to object, transform, scale. Click that and as soon as you click that you'll get a box pop up. The percentage would be on 100% and everything will be on 100%. So what you want to do is you want to click uniform and in your options panel it's very important. First of all you want to make sure that preview is clicked so you can preview what's happening on the effect. But what you want to tick off is you want to tick off transform objects. Once you do that what the scale button is going to do is actually just scale the pattern within the object. It's not going to move the size of the shape or anything like that it's just going to scale the, the pattern inside of it. So I'm going to go to uniform and I'm going to bump this up. You can use your mouse wheel, you can hold shift to bump up by 10% each and I'm going to scale my pattern up really big, 720% and I'm going to press OK. So now you can see I can move around this object, I can manipulate the object and it's going to keep that new scaling that I've added to it and it's as simple as that. And if I want to change it back again, I can just select it, go to Object, Transform, Scale. And what I can do, I just tick off Transform Object and then I can just scale it back down as well. And make sure you do Uniform because that's going to keep the proportions. If you click Non-Uniform, you can change Horizontal and Vertical, but then it will pretty much stretch your pattern and make it look ugly. So you just want to use Uniform and I can always just play around, scale it back down. And remember, when you do it this way, it doesn't change your actual pattern in the swatches. So if I go back and just quickly make one, it's gonna keep that same size that I made it in the default. So if I double click on my pattern swatch, I, you can see I can go back, if I just change it, it's gonna keep this size unless I manipulate this pattern, etc. So I just press escape and get out of that. So yeah, that's how you do it guys. Ho hopefully this tutorial was helpful and hopefully it uh, wasn't too fast. But yeah, click like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more design content every week. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and have a blessed day.